what's up i'm back with another config video today we are talking about fortnite if you're new to the channel a lot of my content revolves around read wasd or rewise this program can be used to remap controllers or mouse and keyboards the main thing i show with it is turning your mouse into controller to get the aim assist that controller users have and we're going to be sharing a config today and going over the settings in game this is a recreation of an older config and i edited it live on stream I will link the stream in the description below if you want to learn how to make your own config with Rewise. If you just want the config, that will also be linked in the description below. And as I said, I'll be going over the settings in this video. You can find the program at Rewise.com if you're interested in testing it out. I have videos showing how to set it up if you need help. I also have a Discord community where I provide help and people share configs with the community. Everything will be linked in the description below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you find the content helpful. Without further ado, go grab the config and let's jump in game and talk about the settings. Quickly before we go in game, I use 1600 DPI and 1000 polling rate. You can change these in your mouse app. Okay, now that we're in game, along with setting the config up in Rewise, the most important thing you can do is come in game and edit the in-game settings. So we're going to go into the settings, go over these because this is the most important part and rounds off the config. If you, if you just go in there with base settings, it's gonna be slow. It's not gonna work properly, it's gonna feel bad. So you need to follow along here. I use 1440 resolution. This does sometimes matter with the configs. Um, it should work on most resolutions still. In touch and motion, make sure gyro aiming is off. If this is on, you will not get aim assist. Come into the mouse and keyboard tab. The only thing that you're gonna need to change here is the lock input methods. Ignore controller input needs to be off. Lock input method as mouse needs to be on. Next is the controller tab. This is where you're gonna find all your controller sensitivities. You're gonna scroll down to the sensitivity part. You wanna make sure you select use advanced options. For the sensitivity settings, this is what we have. Look at horizontal and vertical speed, both 90. Horizontal boost and vertical boost at zero. Turn and boost ramp time at zero. ADS speed, look horizontal, hor ADS speed, horizontal and vertical are both set to 75. Horizontal boost and vertical boost at zero for these also. The scope speed multiplier, I leave at one. Look input curve set to exponential. You could try linear, but for this config, I made it with, I made it to be used with exponential. Precision aim assist strength and tracking aim assist strength. You can lower these if you uh, feel that the aim assist is a bit too strong. If you feel like there's too much slowdown when you're around an enemy, you can take precision aim assist strength and lower this a little bit. This is what causes the slowdown. There's a description on the side of each of these aim assists if you want to know what each of them does. Another important setting, controller dead zones. You need to have left stick and right stick dead zone as low as it'll go, and that is 5%. And that's it for that tab. If you're playing builds, you need to come over to the controller mapping tab. Make sure you're set to combat pro. If you're not set to combat pro, builds won't work properly. It'll throw up a wall when you don't want it to, so make sure you're set to combat pro. All right, if we come in game, you can see When you strafe in front of a character, it should drag your crosshair just a little bit. But you won't really notice the aim assist unless there's moving targets. So when a target's moving, like jumping up and down like this, you can really feel it when you're trying to aim at them. It will kind of grab onto them. And you can really, really, really feel this when you're moving, actually moving your aim. So you combine that with strafing and then you get, you get the full effect, so. And you'll see pretty accurate aim assist is really strong if you find there's too much slowdown you can adjust the aim assist setting in game and if you want to know how to make a config i did a stream where i created this config live so make sure you go and check out that live stream if you really want to know how to make a config on your own i talk about how to adjust it and everything so go check that out and that's it man i appreciate you joining me today hope everyone has a good day peace